Okay, uh, let's go to the next program, Hangman. So the Hangman program, okay, uh, to implement Hangman game using Python. So Hangman okay, is a game program, and the user guess. Okay, so here the user should guess the word okay, exactly uh, by entering some alphabets. So user will be given some choice. Uh, it will enter the first word, uh, uh, the word, and then okay, the program will guess. So program will get input from the user, single alphabet from the user, and it will match making okay, with the alphabets in the original word, which is inside the program. If the user given, okay, if the user are given with alphabet matches, okay, if the user has given the same alphabet, which is inside the program, then, okay, see here, then, user must guess the remaining alphabet using the given option which will be provided by the program. So once the user successfully found the word, okay, he will be declared as a winner, otherwise loser. That's all. The meaning is this one. So we are importing at line number 18 the string, okay? The string, okay? Library, okay? Of the Python program. Then we are going to define a function get available letters, and here okay we are taking the input letters guessed okay from the user. Uh, at the first moment, okay, if you see at line number twenty-seven, uh, there's another variable full string, okay, full string, which is equal to the string dot okay. ASCII lowercase. So we are converting using the string okay, uh, library and also this is also known as class. So we can access the method of the class string dot ASCII, okay, ASCII lowercase class method from here and it will be the value of this one okay, will be full string which is okay, assigned to this variable full string. The next line, line number 28, letters left okay, is empty. In the beginning, we are just initializing letters left variable with no character inside, that's all. Now we start, we will start for loop. So in the for loop, okay, uh, we are using the collection, this one, full string, the same one, this one, which is a collection of uh, strings, okay? uh, I mean the characters, and we are going to one by one every character from 0 to 1, 2, 3, and so on, one by one, using this, okay, uh, in thing, okay, variable letter. So if the letter is not inside this list, okay, not this one, letter guest okay where is this one which is inserted by the user this one so letters guest okay which is inserted by this okay input parameters here is if the letter is not in this letter guest then we say okay letters left is equal to letter left plus letter it means we are putting this value okay which is empty at the beginning with the value of letter which is coming from here the first letter which is guessed by the user okay? and it the process will repeat here because the for loop is there right the condition will be checked at first and then the process will be repeated until this okay uh, final character okay is arrived within the program and finally okay the function get available letters will letters left this one this uh, list of characters okay you can think like this in the second okay, uh, 
function get guess word okay we are taking two parameters is secret word and letters guest here okay word guest okay will be empty list okay empty string and now we are going for four letter this one four letter in the secret words okay the secret word is also coming from here okay so every time we are repeating every character inside the secret word so for letter in secret word if letter is inside the letter guest the condition then we say what a word guest is equal to word guest plus letter this one otherwise we will put this one word guest is equal to word guest okay plus underscore and it will finally okay the function will repeat uh, return actually word guest word okay, get guest word function will return word guest this one which is coming from here okay? so initially it will be without any character but later it will be filled by this operation of for and it will give some okay a collection of string or just a list of strings you can think like this uh, the third okay function is is word guest which is uh, the condition check for the guest word okay so is word has been guessed by the user uh, secret word which is inside the computer inside this program and the letter s which is by the user itself are two okay, main arguments parameters inside this function so none correct is equal to zero at the beginning okay there's another variable none correct we have taken this one as zero in the initial state for letters okay for letter in the secret word we will check every letter every uh, yeah every letter inside the word by using this for loop one by one so if the letter in the secret word if letter in the letters guest okay see here the same letter is okay uh, is checked uh, going through okay in the secret word and the letter in the letter guest is also processing at the same so num correct okay we'll check whether these two are the same if they are the same okay num correct plus equal one this means num correct plus one will be the new value for num correct and it will become zero plus one it will be one and then one plus one it will become two like this way otherwise it will return false okay if condition is not true then it will return false and if okay and finally okay the function will return true that's okay okay this is the perhaps the last function okay hangman and uh, it is taking secret word okay which is inside the okay python program and that needs to be guessed by the user so it will say let's say guess left equal to eight letters okay guess equal to empty list this one okay and the print okay will be there right welcome to the game hangman print again i am thinking of a word that is then it will say okay uh, it will not uh, display the secret word actually it will just display the length of the okay word let's say this word have 10 characters so it will display the length of that string 10 characters okay so it will say i am thinking of a word that is 10 character long okay something like this so if i can show you here okay like this way that's okay 10 letters long okay that's okay and now we have the while loop okay the while loop okay will begin from guess left okay 
which is more than zero. So the condition is y guess, guesses left is more than zero. Then we will move to the next slide. If is word guessed, secret word letter guessed. These are the two uh, the variables parameters, and we are calling this function is word, word guessed. This function that we defined earlier. So if this condition is there, that this function call okay is there, then it will okay return the this print okay conversation you got the exact word you want okay that's all. Otherwise, if it is I mean the secret word and the letter guest is exactly the same, then we say you want conversation. Otherwise, we will go to the next line okay. print we have a uh, guest left so it will tell the number of guests left with so string it will show in terms of string because we are concatenating all this string so even this one will be number okay like you have five guests left but still, we have to represent this to add with other string as a string. So that's why we are explicitly okay, uh, casting on this number to convert it into string. That's all. Print okay, available letter plus get available letters. Okay, this is the, remember this is the function call for the get available letter letter guess. Also, uh, now we are taking a user input. So input, press, uh, please uh, guess a letter. So user will enter some letter, okay? A, B, C, anything. Then, okay, the user, okay, will input uh, the value, which is input by the user, will be converted to a string. And that string value will be used after converting that letter, let's say your user has entered capital A, so it will be converted to a smaller A. So this is all about okay these three lines. After that, okay, the user input, let's say a small A, is if it is not in the existing letter guest, okay, then okay, we say letter guest append user input. That's all. So we will append okay the number of okay attempt. That's all. Uh, also okay if user input in the secret word okay, if the user input in secret word is true okay if user input inside the secret word is true whatever user has entered if it is there then uh, we say it is true. So it will print good guess. Okay, you got one letter, that's okay. So get guessed word, okay, function is called. And after this, okay, you can see it also. This one, this function is called. After that, okay, we will go for, so if the condition is true, this one, it will run the first two lines, this one. Otherwise, it will run these two lines. So it will say, oh, no, you didn't get the exact word, like this one, this one, OK, and thereafter. Okay. And this is for this if function, this one, if condition, this one. Uh, the, the, so this is internal if, nested if, this is the external outer f and this is the inner f so after passing through the inner f we will go to the outer f this one so in case if it is if the condition is false not true then it will switch to the next line as in this line it will skip all the lines which are here okay if the condition is not true so else you have already guessed that letter. That's okay. And then, okay, 
it will call exactly the same function this one and print this line okay so finally you will see okay if i can show you the function this is a hangman function so it is running and now okay finally it will return this thing return print sorry you ran out of the guess because you have finished eight attempts the maximum that's all and it will just print a string secret word this one the it will print the real word okay exact word that's all apple so the secret word let's say is apple uh, i mean this one so it will be there not to say actually i think one second let me check it hangman apple Yes, this is the exact secret word, okay? Right. So this is Apple is the secret word, that's all. And the user will guess by putting the letters one by one. Let's say it put Y, then it will check. No, it's not, okay, like this one. If user put A, then it will say, okay, yes, you got some idea. So this is a long program, but because there are three functions inside but the uh, logic is exactly the same okay for this one so if you run this program okay like this one it will okay move and ask you welcome and then it will run uh, and you have to finish okay by one guessing this out